Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we're going to react to some of the dankest memes from the dank memes from Site19 subreddit. That's SCP memes for you and me. <laughs> Let's get started. I'm here to contain all of you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. The U UIU is useless. I love UIU or useless memes. Because <laughs> that's the... Uh, I love... It is fun how they are portrayed on the SCP Wiki. Like, the idea that they actually are absolutely and completely useless. It's fun to have a GOI like that. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> if everyone was hyper-competent... Uh, that'd get kind of boring uh, pretty quickly. Although if you'll notice, a lot of the GOIs and UIU is another one of them act as sort of uh, reflections of the Foundation. Like, this is what the Foundation could be if it wasn't X. UIU is, what if the Foundation wasn't well-funded and competent? You make a meme, Dark. It gets on the hot page. Vlam! Vlam! <laughs> Dodger Sumerian reacts to it. Connect. Connect 4? He chuckles. Ecky. <laughs> he discusses the topic mentioned for two minutes. Well, you want me to, you want me to d discuss the so the topic mentioned here is the special new uh, classes, right? So if we're gonna spend two minutes talking about them. I'd have to be more familiar with them, and I'm not because I've actually moved on from object classes to no object classes at all in my articles. I have. There are two different ways you can approach the SCP uh, wiki's like classification problem. And there is a classification problem that safe Euclid key. You're like, oh, well, isn't that good enough? It's not really. So the SCP wiki doesn't have to be realistic, but it does need to have some sort of appearance of realism, for lack of a better way to put it. Um, verisimilitude is the word, but uh, it's easier to just say <laughs> the appearance of realism. And some of that means that you do make some concessions for a lack of realism, right? You make the concession that S the SCP Wiki is uh, going to have a simplified version of these documents. Because if they were truly clinical tone documents, they'd be pretty boring to read. Secondly, though, we have a classification system. It's too simple, though is the problem. If you're going to have a classification system like this, then it needs to be much more complex than just safe Euclid, uh, Keter, and uh, Thaumiel. And Thaumiel is not even really technically a standard classification. It's just used enough at this point that people treat it like one. So we're talking about, and plus, <laughs> this is the, and this is the most important part. Safe is an incredibly misleading name because it has nothing to do with whether or not it's safe or not. It's just how it, it's all about containment anyway. So I have reacted in the opposite direction. There is the create a more complex system solution, which I think has some merit. And for some people definitely has that merit for me, remove the classification entirely. Okay. See, I only included this. This is the old man, but with some, somebody's face on it. I only included this because I need you to tell me where this is from because there was some dude on my Twitter who replied to, I want to say like a dozen Twitter posts of mine with just this face, not, not this particular version of it, but this face. And I don't know where it's from. So can you guys help me out on that in the comments? Ooh, it's another GOI ball. <laughs> GOC, why burn when you can read? Read? Why would the GOC want to learn anything? Let's just burn on everything and kill it all. I mean, even the modern interpretations of the GOC are, do this a little bit better, but like the GOC doesn't really make a whole lot of sense with the way they handle things because they do, uh, <laughs> they do, they do destroy in places where destroying things doesn't really make any sense. Uh, even the SCP Foundation, well, the SCP Foundation uh, takes it in the entirely opposite direction and probably spends way too much time researching things when they could just eventually either contain them or destroy some of them. But that's neither here nor there. And this is coming from an ethics, <laughs> this is coming from the ethics guy. Not really, but you know what I mean. 
People are trying to, get, to work out the lore and timelines. LSCP actually is. There is no canon. I get this kind of thing all the time from people in my Discord, on my Twitter. Uh, anytime you bring up something like, they'll you, you'll talk about a thing. And in, in my YouTube comments, too, they'll be like, you're, I, I do the you're wrong thing, because, which is fun, but they'll tell me that my opinion about a thing is wrong <laughs> because, no, I read this one tale this one time on the SCP Wiki that counteracts your interpretation of things. And I'm like, that's fine. So that's your interpretation of it. That's not mine. The SCP Wiki has no unified canon. It just doesn't. Like you can, if you want to read in a particular canon, like Aces and Eights, or The Gulf, or Straight On Till Morning, or AIAD, or Resurrection, you can. And those do have canonical representations of things that have happened. But the main SCP wiki and the main SCP entries mostly don't exist in those canons. They exist in their own independent canon for every article. <laughs> Item number. SCP-173, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. Wait, I wonder how long I can hold this. Hold on, hold on, we're, no, I, I didn't, I already screwed it up. Alright, we'll try one more time. Alright, hold on. I, I, I don't gotta bug my eyes out because it makes it much harder. Alright. Oh, this is getting rough. <laughs> I'm sure I could do that longer, especially if I were to use my fingers, but I'm not gonna because that's uh, uh, not really good video content. Maybe we'll see. Ooh, that'd be a good April Fool's thing. See how long I can go. I, I may I may consider doing that whole video on April. When is April 1st, actually? Let's take a look. It's in a book. It's on a Thursday, so there'll be a video upload day. Perfect, 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 perfect. Reading SCP articles, dark. Listening to YouTube channels who narrate them for you, connect. Figure out SCPs through context by seeing memes about them, Amida. Uh, I wonder that there probably is a quiet. There probably is a contingent of people in the SCP uh, Reddit's who only interact with SCP content through memes and have no idea what really most of them mean, except for uh, what context they pick up through inter uh, interlaced memes about a particular topic you know you get enough old man memes you may eventually figure out what the old man is around the edges anyway <laughs> again i am asking you to donate <laughs> to the scp foundation <laughs> uh, what number would he be in this one two three oh is he oh five twelve i think he is yeah, yeah, I think he is. Okay, fair enough. Paranormal SCPs that will haunt you. <laughs> yes, the floor here is made out of floor. Paranormal SCPs? You mean, like, all SCPs? I love The comment that was left on this was pretty good. Uh, but the important part is that I can now use this in my thumbnail. And I think, in the end, that's really what we all wanted. But it is kind of dumb. I think well, let's discuss this for just a second so that I can do more than just say that I put it in the thumbnail. <laughs> I'm honest with you. Is that not what you want? Are you not entertained? No. Um. I mean, the reason why this is phrased this way, SCP. I, I honestly gotta think SCPs with the S on it's probably not good. Uh, search engine optimization, but I don't know for sure. But paranormal SCP haunt, right? Or will haunt you are probably really, really good for search engine optimization. And that's the main reason for it. Oh, right. I'm going to have to censor some of this, aren't I? Yes. SCP-3313 is the severed of Benjamin Franklin, hereby referred to as SCP-3313-1, despite having no biological support system, SCP-3313 appears resistant to both damage and decay. When in physical contact with any individual, SCP-3313 provides that individual with reality-altering capabilities roughly analogous to that of a Class II reality-altering entity. What in the secure contained f***? But, <laughs> yes...
Also, you know what? It appears resistant to both damage and decay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, this was useful. So since SCP, I wrote this. So I'm I'm going to critique it a little bit just for a second here. When I, I, I've i railed often against the usage of the words appears to be. Um, the reason why I use it here is because, first of all, it was tested and uh, and, you know, look looked at in all these things but it's also no longer in the possession of the scp foundation so they cannot confirm that it is resistant to both damage and decay maybe i should make it appeared resistant but then again mm -hmm. that's a bit of a spoiler for the ending of the article which you should read maybe got a lot a lot of views on the uh, on the uh, on the reddit i'll tell you that uh, the, but not many people mentioned that it was by me, which is fine. I mean, there was an author thing, and then there was a couple of you're wrong about Benjamin Franklin's piece, but that's about it. The meat tastes funny. Panic. It's just the new guy working in the cafeteria. Calm. The new guy is a carcist. Panic. Ah, yes, the flesh sculptors. They will, they will create the ultimate lasagna. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, no, no, a good meat, meaty, meaty, meaty but lasagna is pretty good. Anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please scroll down and hit that subscribe button, Carl. I think it's important, Carl, that you hit the subscribe button because you've been freeloading for quite some time, and I think it's about time you gave something back to the channel. So, you know, fix yourself, Carl. And then for the rest of you, if you enjoyed the video, head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted and Sinjariki, who both pledged at $100 and Morgan, who has pledged at $40. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here and I will see you all again on Thursday.